What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how you can download any app on your iPad first generation. Now the problem with this iPad first generation is that it does only run iOS 5.1 and you cannot update it further than that. And what this means is that though it will run great on the iPad, it performs really nicely, you won't be able to download apps. So if you go ahead and hit the App Store and you go to download an app, in this case I'm going to try downloading Google Drive, you'll just search it up like you normally would, wait for it to load, and you'll find the app you want to download. So it seems like it's going to download right. So I hit install, I go to the home screen, and it's about to download, but then I get prompted with this message, iOS 9.0 or later. Obviously, as I mentioned, you can only run iOS 5.1 or earlier on this iPad. So how exactly do you download apps on a thing? Well, what you're going to do is you're going to get another Apple device or another device with access to the App Store. In this case, I'm using my phone. So on my phone, I'm going to download the app that I wanted to get, in this case, Google Drive, and let it download. Now while that's downloading, I'll go back to my iPad and I'll make sure I'm on the same exact iCloud account that I am on my phone. So as you can see in settings, go to iCloud and make sure you're on the same iCloud account. Now once you've done that, you'll be able to go to the App Store and from the App Store, once it loads, you'll be able to hit the Purchases tab in the right hand corner. Now from the Purchases tab in the right hand corner, all you have to do is wait for it to load and as you can see, the app I wanted to install, Google Drive, is right there. So click the app you want to install, hit install, and you get a new message now. This message says would you like to download an older version of the app, and this is what you want. You want to download an older version. And as you can see on the home screen, it is starting to install, and it appears to be installing perfectly normally. And sure enough, it did install perfectly normally. I can launch my app, and it works fine. This works with pretty much any app that you can imagine that is made in the last couple years, and this will help you get some more life out of your old iPad.